Hi, welcome to locally weighted regression, which is a non-parametric uh, regression algorithm. Uh, why we are in need of uh, locally weighted linear regression algorithm? Uh, here, uh, the simple linear regression algorithm performs better when the relationship between uh, between the data is linearly separable, and at the same time, uh, if the uh, data is linearly separable the uh, parametric learning uh, learn the fixed number of parameters that is uh, fit with the training data for uh, for example y equal to uh, theta 0 x 0 plus theta 1 uh, x 1 plus theta 2 x 2 so here uh, the number of features are 2 x 1 and x 2 are the features so the number of parameters also fixed so from this fixed number of parameters uh, the linear uh, regression will learn the parameters and fit with the training data for giving a uh, good accuracy for the given problem statement the given plot shows the normally distributed uh, data with a specific and a limited number of uh, parameters that means uh, this data set this data set is having only one feature the so this feature is uh, having one uh, the parameter theta 1 and the y intercept theta 0 so there is fixed number of parameters available uh, for this uh, data distribution uh, so from this the model will learn the uh, patterns to give uh, to predict the test data point but if the data is non-linear like uh, shown here uh, you look at that the data is distributed in uh, uh, in non-linear manner because uh, the uh, straight line equation the straight line equation y equal to mx plus c this is the straight line equation so this cannot uh, be a decision boundary for this non-linear data so for that what we have to do so we have to apply uh, the locally weighted uh, regression algorithm to find the best fit decision boundary the locally weighted algorithm uh, is one of the non-parametric learning algorithm for the regression the what is the non-parametric non-parametric in the sense uh, when the number of parameters are um, uh, growing uh, when uh, the size of the training samples are increasing uh, that means if we are having the 10 samples there will be some n number of uh, parameters available n number of theta will be available if your training samples are increasing then there is the possibility of greater than n number of uh, parameters will be uh, possible so that's what given here uh, the depends upon the size of the uh, training size uh, training uh, training data set size the number of parameters will increase so uh, this uh, this uh, number of parameters are used to predict the new test data point here the locally weighted regression is instance based learning algorithm that is um, sample based learning algorithm which is called non parametric algorithm because a ma model uh, does not learn uh, the patterns from fixed set of parameters it will it, it the parameters number of parameters will change depends upon the number of samples increasing uh, local denotes the functions in the functions which is approximated using the given data points uh, which are close to the new test data point that means whenever the new data point comes into the model based upon that the function uh, function will work to find out the approximated uh, predicted value the weight represent contribution of each training sample is weighted by distance metric uh, to the new test data point that means if data point is coming into the model then uh, the distance to each data point the distance to the each data point is uh, contributed uh, as a parameter that distance is uh, associated with the weight associated with the weight the low closer distance para, uh, closer closer distance uh, data sample will give more weight uh, for uh, i mean the data uh, point which is far from the test data point will get less weightage parameters are computed individually for each uh, new data point uh, when computing the theta uh, 
a more weightage is given to the data points which are uh, close to the test data point for example when we are having the uh, data set like this so, so this is the uh, training data points now i am going to get uh, um, test data point so here i am getting the test data point the data points which are closed so it will get more weightage this is also get more weightage but the data point which is far away uh, from the new test data point this one so this this is the training and uh, uh, the circle is uh, testing point so this uh, the, this cross mark is uh, data point which is far from the test data point so it will get less weight so that is the uh, procedure of locally weighted regression in this case each data point becomes weighting factor uh, that will influence the data point for prediction uh, the locally weighted regression is called lazy learning because of uh, the processing of training data is shifted until new test data point is given to the model that means until the new test data point entered into the model uh, the process will not initiate process will not initiate that means the training phase will not initiate so whenever the new data point is getting inside the model then only uh, it will initiate the process to compute the distance to all the data points then uh, the closer data points to this uh, test data point will get more weightage the data point which are far from the uh, test data point this, this data point is very far from the test data point so which will get less weightage less weightage so that's what uh, it is called less learning this approach uh, makes LWR a very accurate function approximation method where it is easy to add a new training samples but it will take it will take more computational power because if there is 100 da data points in training samples all the uh, 100 uh, training samples will be used to calculate the distance with a single data point single test data point so for every test data point we have to calculate the uh, distance uh, to uh, know which is closer which is far from the uh, test data point uh, this uh, slide uh, shows um, the difference between different uh, uh, regression method this is least squares uh, regression method here last function is least square here look at that each data point is uh, this is the actual data point uh, this one is the predicted data point so the predicted data point and the actual data point the difference is having for all the data points uh, we are having same uh, weightage same weightage there is no uh, no partiality to uh, uh, given to each and every data point so all are getting same uh, weightage okay so all are contributing to the last function but here in weighted least square method here you look at that least squares the whichever data points whichever data points are having less value okay whichever data points are having the least square value the, the data points are getting uh, more uh, weightage you look at that the thickness indicating the weightage so whichever data points are close that data points are getting more weightage that is the uh, that is the uh, process of weighted least square but in locally weighted least square uh, look at here the uh, data points which are local okay which are uh, near to the uh, testing data point so the testing data point suppose if it is available in this uh, area so here uh, the so testing data point uh, you look at here uh, available in this decision boundary the this is the predicted value for the testing uh, i mean uh, for actual data point predicted value for the actual data point so these values these values are getting more weightage the data point which is uh, far away from the decision boundary okay once again i'm repeating here the uh, data points close to the uh, decision boundary are getting more weightage than the data points which are far away from the decision boundary so this is the difference uh, uh, between uh, 
between the diff, uh, diff, uh, regression uh, algorithms, locally weighted, weighted least squares and least squares last functions. So the distance metric is playing a major role. Thanks for watching.